Now, we've all been there. We've wanted to get a copy of what we're working on, take a screen uh, capture of that. And there's several different ways of doing that in earlier versions of Windows. You can hit the print screen button, put it into paint, and then save the file as paint. You can use the snipping tool to do that. But uh, in Windows 8, there's a one more feature that you'd like, probably really going to like. And that is how to automatically take a copy of whatever you're working on, whether it's a one screen, a split screen, uh, and you're able to go ahead and uh, make a copy and automatically save it to your user pictures folder. So let's take a look. So here we are. We're going to start on the start screen and do it. So here we are. And uh, I want to take a picture of my layout here to send to somebody, let's say. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the Windows key and then punch the print screen. And you're going to see the screen dim when I do that. And you'll see your screen dim when you do that. So all you do is you press the Windows and the print screen button. So there it is. You saw it dim. So let's go take a look at what happens. With that. So I'm go over here to your hard drive, and there's the uh, Windows hard drive. And you sit there and you look under the user directory under pictures and screenshots. You'll see there's snapshots. And it's a snapshot. We're looking now at the snapshot. These are the different snapshots that I've done using this function. It automatically saves it there. You don't have to go save it in the editor. It automatically does it. So let's do one right here. Uh, as I'm sitting here on this screen, and we we able to see if I do a snapshot, boom, there it is filed on on your system automatically for you. So let's go out and take a look at uh, something other than just the desktop or the start screen. Let's go ahead actually and go out here to a browser, and we're going to go out and uh, uh, take a copy of something we're we're looking at. So let's see where I'm being right now. Um, let's say I want to go out to a um, MSN and I'm browsing MSN and I see something an article I want to just take a snapshot hey how about this you know let's say a money report you know or something so if I just sit there on this browser screen and I hit the windows and the print screen sprint print screen command there it is it dimmed again and so now we have a new screenshot there it is the screenshots there uh, it's actually quite handy that let's let's try to move this over here to a half screen uh, let me do the same thing over here and bring up something else. Let me bring up the desktop and another program. Uh, let's see, photos. Uh, oh, no, I'll go to another website. So I have this. So I want to print this screen. So I want to do the same exact function. I do the uh, Windows and Print Screen command. I come back over here, go back to the desktop. Oh, I actually have to get rid of all this stuff to take a look at it. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, the actual folder and there it is let me uh, get this out of the way and we have a split screen snapshot so you can do almost anything with this command capture anything from this command very easily and automatically right to your user pictures folder hey for more great tips from old guy geek don't forget to subscribe uh, share it with your friends on facebook or twitter uh, take a look at our playlist windows 8 playlist windows phone 8 playlist and a general how-to and of course our latest uh, feature video and thanks for watching